See, see, if you never had God move when nothing was in your pocket, you really don't know how powerful God is. Because sometimes God does not need what's in your pocket. He needs you to trust him. And he'll call somebody, oh Lord, y'all, to put in your pocket what need to be there if you will trust him. Oh Lord, I wish somebody give him a praise. Hey, hey, and let go. You gotta and let go. Don't worry about it. And let go. Cash your burden and let go. Let God do it. 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 Don't worry about it. You gotta. Psalm 62 and 8 says, trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Trust him or God. Notice how often we need to trust God. Yeah, trust him at what? All times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. Why? For God is, he ain't trying to be, for God is a refuge for us. Look at a neighbor, tell your neighbor the subject this morning. Trust God at all times. Tell one more person the subject this morning. Trust God at, tell them how often. You can be seated. Trust God at all what? Trust God at all what? And understand this morning, God is the only one who we should trust at all times. I got a few amen. God is the only one. We should trust at all times. You will not find a scripture that will tell you to trust in something or someone at all times saving God. The Bible is teaching us through the psalmist that when it comes to trusting God, we need to do so at all times. We need to always trust God. You mind shouting that for me and say, always, always trust, trust God. God. Oh, you can do better than that. Somebody shout, always, always trust, trust God. God. One more time, shout, always, always trust, trust who? God. Trust him how often? Always. All the time or all Ways. Trust this morning, receive this right here. It is to hope or to have confidence in the Almighty One. When I say to you, trust God at all times, I'm saying, put your hope or your confidence in the Almighty One. And hope is not wishful thinking but put your hope or your trust or your faith in God and do so at all times I got to make sure this sink in before I move on trust God at all what times why am I stressing it because some of us we fluctuate when it come to trusting God We'll, we'll place our confidence in God, then allow something or somebody to cause us 
to put our confidence in them or in it. Oh, Lord, it got quiet. You, you, don't, you don't have to say that, but I know all of us at some point have been guilty of trusting God one minute and then relying on something else the next minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some of us have had a testimony that God was going to bring us out, which suggested we were trusting him. But when he didn't bring us out as fast as we thought he should be bringing us out, we then start trying to bring ourselves out. Woo! Start trying to make the job do what God said he would do. Your job is not God. Woo! I don't care what you make an hour, your job is not God. God never told you to trust your job. He said trust him so that if your job plays out, you know your God won't play out. Come on, if your job cut your pay, you know your job can't cut your God out of your life. That's the reason you trust God at all. Now listen, cash the check that they give you. By no means work and get a check and don't cash it. Yeah, cash the check, but don't put all your trust in the check. Oh, Lord, let me break it down. How do you know you're putting all your trust in your check? When you say things like, I got paid Friday, and I'm not going to have no more money until two weeks, because that's when I get my next check. You trust in your check too much. And what about folk get paid once a month? So you're going to eat out once a month? You're going to do things once a month? And then wait another 29, 30 days for the next check? No. you trusting too much in your check. Is your check a good thing? Yes. But is it what you should trust in all the time? No. Is family a good thing? Yes. Should you trust in family? No. Not at all times. Why y'all didn't shout no? Should you trust your pastor at all times? Don't be afraid to say no because you shouldn't. You won't find it in scripture where God tells you to trust your pastor at all times. You trust me as your pastor as I follow God. And if I stop following God, you know what you need to do? Stop following me. Come on. I'm going I'm to deal with it this morning because some of us will say this morning, Pastor, I'm trusting God. But then I would ask you, how long is that going to last? Some of us, it only lasts to the next trial or the next trouble that come. And then we're trusting in something else. But I want to get in your spirit this morning is that you need to trust God at all times. Let me break it down a little bit. Trust God when it's 90 degrees outside and it's a beautiful, wonderful, peaceful day. Trust God. Trust him in that beautiful day. But when it's storming, and trees are blowing and leaning. Trust God in the midst of the storm. But hold on, because you'll be surprised at folk that can trust God when it looks pretty outside, but when it's storming, they're full of fear. Pastor, how can I trust God in the midst of a storm and I don't know what the storm going to do? And they saying this, that, and the other on the weather channel. You can trust him because regardless of what it's doing, he's in control of it all so I can sleep even in, oh God, you should be able to rest in a storm. Oh, it is quiet in here. We have some folk in here that can't sleep during a storm. Literally, pacing the flow, worrying. You have to trust God even if there is so-called bad weather. Trust God that, he, that he what? he'll take care of you. He'll take care of your family. Oh, it's quiet. Trust God when the economy is good, but also trust him if they're saying it's a recession. Come on. Some of us need to hear this. Trust God in times of peace, but then trust God if the country is at war. Trust him at all what? Trust him at all what? Trust God as you drive down the highway, but then trust him if you got to get in the air. 
Oh, lost a whole lot of folks. Oh, I trust him on, on, on the on driving path, but I ain't getting on no plane. What's wrong with a plane? Well, y'all feeling me this morning? Because some of us, we only allow our trust in God to go so far. And then when it comes to certain things, we're controlled by fear. But the scripture is plain in 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. God don't want his people fearing at no time. What he want me to do? Put your trust in him. If your bills are 24 days behind, you trust God to do in your life what need to be done. How are we going to do it, Pastor? I don't know. He got a number of ways to get into your hand what you need, but he can't do it if you don't trust him. Shout to somebody and tell them, trust God at all times and say, period. I'm not going to claim to be a Christian, but controlled by fear when it comes to certain things. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to trust God. Listen, when I got money in my pocket, but guess what I've learned to do? I've learned to trust him when ain't nothing in these pockets. Why? Because I've seen him move when there was something in here, but I've also seen him move when it wasn't nothing in there. See, see, if you've never had God move when nothing was in your pockets, you really don't know how powerful God is. Because sometimes God does not need what's in your pocket. He needs you to trust him. And he'll call somebody, oh Lord, y'all, to put in your pocket what need to be there if you will trust him. Oh Lord, I wish somebody give him a praise that, that's done made up your mind. I'm going to trust God at all times I'm going to always trust God is that right trust God when you have a job but trust him if you're unemployed trust him if you're looking for a better job put your trust in God that's all I'm saying trust God at all what times and listen, he's the only one that you should trust at all times. I want to mention three things you should not trust, especially at all times. Before I mention these things, understand, we can trust people and things as long as God has said to us, you can trust her. Come on. See, some of us thinking folks are friends right now. We, we, we don't even know these people like that. You, you, you don't call a person a friend, really, until God lets you know that's a friend. But God will also let you know how far you can trust people. Come on. Because some folks, you can trust them with this, but you can't trust them with that. Don't mean they're a bad person. You just got to know who you're dealing with. But now some folk we call friends, if we look at what they do, they're really enemies. And you don't want to tell your business to your enemy. That's where you got to know who you can what? Trust. And don't sit there and act like you ain't ever trusted the wrong person before. And I done told folks stuff in time past that I had no business telling them that. Because they immediately went and told somebody else. And they proved to be untrustworthy. But can I be honest? God has never proved to be untrustworthy. That's where you can trust him at all times. Are y'all with me? Number one, let's start here. Don't trust yourself. So you thought I was going to deal with others. No, don't trust Yourself. Come on. I'm looking at some of y'all. Don't trust who? Yourself. Tell your neighbor, don't trust, don't trust 
the person you see in the mirror. Not at all times. Can I prove it? How many have ever messed up yourself? Tell, tell, look at somebody that got their hand up and say, see, that's the reason you can't trust yourself. <laughs> Come on. How many have been mad at yourself? <laughs> How many ever let yourself down? How many ever wanted to hit yourself? How many talk to yourself? Get on to yourself. Okay. Put your hand down. I do too. There are times I have conversations with myself because I don't let myself down. And I be saying something, what were you, what were you thinking? Mess myself up. That's really, don't trust yourself. And, and I hate to hear folks say stuff like, well, I got a gut feeling about this. Y'all ain't never heard the term gut feeling. Some of y'all may not be old enough. But we used to talk about how we got a gut feeling, which just simply meant deep somewhere, we didn't know where, somewhere in us, we felt like this is what we needed to do. Oh, God, I got to back up. So some of us done had a gut feeling and gave folks our numbers only to have to turn around and block them or change the entire number. But at the time you gave it to them, you were like, yes. I need to give you my number. Listen, this is what I'm trying to get us to see. When you trust yourself more so than God, you will jack up your own life. It'll be your own decisions that bring ruin, that bring pain, chaos, and drama. You cannot trust yourself. That's reading the scripture is plain. In all your ways... Acknowledge who? Him or God. And he'll direct what? Your path. Don't, don't, don't trust yourself. Now, I got to move past this, but, but how many have ever messed yourself up more than three times in your life? More than three times. Now, some of us, put your hand. Now, some of us, we, we ain't got enough fingers. Come on, and, 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 then, and then, then you know you be done mess yourself up, and then folk got you sitting up here like, like you on a pedestal, like, like you just a smart, but if they really knew how many times, yeah, you got a degree, but look at how many times you still mess yourself up. Don't let nobody put you on no pedestal. I'm coming to you because you always right. The devil is a lie. I'm not always. Only one always right is. Are well, y'all in the house this morning? Number two, don't trust things. Don't trust things. And finally, don't trust man. Now, trust your spouse if you marry to the point to what they have earned. Oh, boy, that ain't going to go over well with somebody. And somebody going to get back in the car. Pastor told me, trust you for what you done earned. You ain't earned nothing. So if you say you're going to get some milk, you call me when you get the food depot. And then when you leave, call me again. Why? It's obviously somebody dealing with a person that has violated trust. And you can act like that if you want to, but if you ain't never had nobody violate trust, sometimes you want to trust people but you got to build that back again because you found out they were somewhere they say they wasn't. See, y'all looking now. See, see, folk violate trust. And then people violate trust but still want you to trust. There are some folk, when you deal with them, when you ask them what's in the account, you better go look. You better go look. And don't do it behind their back. Just say, look. I'm going to look. I ain't just trying to hide. I'm going to look. Why? Because you deal. See, some of us ain't never dealt with liars. And those who are good at it. See, I know some of you think, well, I can look at a person. I can tell when a person lying. When I look at them, no, no, no. You can't some. Everybody got to tell when they lie. They're awful. That's what I always tell my wife when I look at certain movies. I'd be like, ain't no way I'd be married to them. 
They act too good. I wouldn't ever know what they you come on, you ever thought about that? You just man, some it's some folk can act so good. If folks in here be crying and ain't even sad. Be bawling. And ain't feeling nothing. You can't trust. Man. Look at Psalm 20. Look at Psalm 20. I'm gonna have to give y'all some scriptures. Look at Psalm 20. Look at Psalm 20. Y'all hang in here. Look at Psalm 20 in verse number 7. Some of you acting like you ain't never heard no teaching like this. Just hold on now because I'm going to give you a Bible for everything I'm teaching now. And, and if you're sitting out there thinking that you can trust man, you're making a mistake. You can, but only to the point that God tells you they can be trusted. You never put all your confidence in a person. Now, I'm telling you, you're headed for disappointment because man is known to disappoint based upon limitations. I can honestly tell you that I'm going to do something, but then later on, unable to fulfill the promise that I made to you. Not because I didn't want to do it, I'm just not able. That's the reason God ain't ordained for us to put all of our trust. And man, I'm just having to make it because it ain't getting over with some. So I'm still thinking, well, I know I can trust so-and-so at all times. You can't because of, you can't. Look, mama can be good, but don't you know mama got limitations? And some of us, we try to run to mama for everything. Mama limited. You can look at our own life and tell. If mama was that great, she wouldn't be going through this. Ooh, and I know how some of y'all get when you talk about mama. You talk about dead all day, but you, you, you talk about mama. No, you ain't going to talk about I can't sit there and let you talk about mama. Them fighting words. Psalm 20 and 7. Now notice the scripture. Some trust in chariots. Some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. See, when you make a decision to trust God at all times, realize everybody not going to make that decision. Some, according to the psalmist, is going to trust in chariots and horses. At the time of the text, he mentioned chariots and horses because they were known to deliver or save during times of war or trouble. If an army had a lot of chariots and horses, they were favored to be victorious. But you can't trust in things. But the psalmist said, some will trust in chariots. Some will trust in horses. In other words, some folk going to trust things to deliver them more so than they will God. See, sometimes God will allow you to go through something and he's going to bring you out in his timing. But if you ain't careful, you will not only work, but you will work all the overtime you can get because you think overtime going to save you. But, but, but not if God has ordained something. How, how many know that's true? Because you see some folk, they, they just literally work themselves Two and three job work all the time. Right? And, and you know they're primarily at work because they don't trust God. I thought this was your day off. No. I, I volunteered. I told the person, I said, when are you going to sleep? I, I don't know. Sitting there looking crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all talk. I said, sin. I said, you neglecting your body for money. You know how I could tell them? I did it. I used to work machines, heavy machinery, tired and sleepy. But I needed that money. Until I found out one time. And if God ordained overtime to bring you out, then get it. But there are some trials you have to realize you ain't going to work your way out of that. Because, see, some of us, that's our problem. 
You don't trust nothing or nobody because you always think you can do it. Do you know God will bring you to a trial that, that you can't do it? You can't do it. And he, and he, he, you can even name that trial. You can't do it trial. And so no matter what you try, it just don't work. Because see, in this, you got to what? You got to trust him. There's something you're going through right now. That trial is about you trusting God, not you trying to figure out something. I remember years ago, me and my wife were good with numbers. Good at just, you know, making things work, changing stuff. Come on, some of you good at it. But then we got in something to where mathematically speaking, uh-uh, that ain't going to add up. You, you see my point? If we coming out of this, we're going to trust God. Then I went through that time to where they offer overtime, but I was like, no. No, I'm resting today. No, I'm not chasing that dog. Why? I'm, I'm going to have to trust God. If I'm coming out, it's going to be God. See, sometimes you got to trust God more than your credit score when you are denied and they base it upon your score. But if God done said you're going to have it, you better trust God more so than what that score says. You say, Pastor, how can you? Ain't nobody in the 500 going to be able to get no how. How you say such a thing with your mouth? Have you not ever heard of paying cash for stuff? God can give you enough money to where your score does not even matter. You ain't got to go in the booth to talk about the car or the interest rate. I'm paying cash. Why? Because I trusted God. And now I got folks looking at me like, really? Should we have good credit? Yes. Should we rely on it? No. And for those of you that think credit is the thing, you can have good credit and be denied. Come on. So those you just think, if I just get a 700, what you going to do when you got a 750? And then they say, we ain't going to be able to help you. But I got a 750. We ain't gonna do it. I know I'm preaching real. Some of you sitting out there right now. Thank you for watching a word for deliverance with Pastor Leonard Cochran of A Place of Refuge Noonan. A Place of Refuge is located at 10 Fisher Alley in the city of Noonan, Georgia. If you would like to visit us, our worship times are every Sunday at 10.15 a.m. and Wednesdays at 7.15 p.m. To order today's message on CD, please call the church office at 770-252-3855 and reference the order number on the screen.